everybody. Welcome to another episode here of Series Recap. It's Intel Week here, the week of July 25th, and of course we're right in the heart of the Series E season. Plenty going on in Apex Legends, Guilty Gear Strive, and Halo Infinite, so let's just jump right into the fun. Of course, as always, let's start with some Apex Legends. Things kicked off Tuesday night with our open night competition, and Team Excedrin came out on top with one of their best performances of the season. They finished at the top of the standings with 88 points overall, and were really consistent start to finish on Tuesday night. Then going into Wednesday's Pro Night, we finally got our first full night of Pro Night competition, and it did not disappoint. Team Esports Arena started the night off with a big win in game one and didn't finish outside of the top three for the first four games of the day. While they didn't finish as strong as they would have hoped, they still took the first place finish on the night. They were followed up by Torrent, who jumped ahead of Hunter Thieves and won the tiebreaker in the final game of the night. It was an incredible competition and we can't wait for more for the rest of this season, but Apex certainly delivered this week. Now let's talk some Guilty Gear Strive. At the time of recording, we are about just a week away from EVO going down out in Las Vegas, and we certainly can't wait. And this week's Guilty Gear Strive tournament was just a nice little appetizer for what's to come next weekend. Of course, all the partner players came out to compete with some of the best pros from all across North America, and the tournament did not disappoint. Umi Show take their second win in a row, I believe their fourth overall this season, and Umi Show continues to be the most dominant player in Series E. They faced off against Hotashi in Winners Finals and took a dominant 3-0 win. Hotashi met Tempest in the Losers Finals and took care of business there to earn a rematch, but Umi Show wouldn't be stopped taking another 3-0 in the Grand Finals to clean house and take another win. We'll have to see how Umi Show and the rest of the partner players will compete with some of the best talent in the world at EVO, and we can't wait. To all of you that are going out, have a safe trip, have a good time, and enjoy yourself at EVO. Finally, let's talk some Halo Infinite here in Intel Week. Of course, things kicked off with our open night competition Monday night. Let's pick up on the action in our winner's semifinals. EXO met up with XL, Envor's new squad there in the winner's semifinals, and EXO took care of business moving on to winner's finals where they met Triggers Down. EXO was not able to take care of business there, falling to Triggers Down in the winner's finals, meeting up with Envor squad on the loser side of the bracket where they beat them once again. Now coming up into Grand's EXO with a bit of a chip on their shoulder, came at Triggers down with everything they had. They took a 2-0 win in the first series, forcing the reset, and then took a 2-1 win to close it all out. So EXO coming from the loser's bracket, get their revenge, redemption, and a big win. Now jumping forward to Friday night, Esports Arena Red and Blue, unfortunately, both fell 0-3 in their matches to Pioneers and Complexity, respectively. A tight matchup that we were looking forward to in Grand Finals looked even more dominant, though, as Complexity came in and took care of business against the Pioneers. Complexity grabbed the 3-0 win, a nice $500, and a big win to close out Intel Week. That is going to do it for Intel Week here on Series Recap. It was a lot of fun, and we can't wait for more. Quick reminder, next week will be an off week for Guilty Gear Strive due to EVO. So again, have a safe trip and enjoy your time at EVO. But we will have plenty of action still in Series E across Apex Legends and Halo Infinite. So don't miss out on all of that. We'll see you next time, folks.